Alright, so welcome to my channel once again. We are ready heading down to Manchester from a place I could say Middlesbrough. Though this is Turner Bay train station. It's a local train station, you know, in my town. Though Middlesbrough should be about two or three minutes by train from here because it's close by. You know, so that's why I said traveling from Middlesbrough to Manchester. Okay, so <laughs> that was my little man behind. <laughs> My boy is super excited for this journey. Okay, so our train comes in about 20 minutes time. Though we are standing out here because the weather has been so beautiful, sunny, bright and not that cold. Yes, yeah, so basically traveling from here to Manchester, from Middlesbrough to Manchester, is 2 hours 22 minutes or 25 minutes directly from Middlesbrough. Right. So I bought my our train ticket that was five days to today and uh, we paid 85 pounds It's an open return lasting for 28 days you know so there was a ticket for 58 pounds but I didn't get that one because um, it's an, an off-peak return ticket that means you have to return anytime that is off-peak of which I didn't want so I bought the one that is higher. My ticket is open return so that anytime we want to come back within these 28 days, we can come back 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock or whichever time it is. So this is the difference between buying an open return, um, what is it called, off-peak off return ticket. Okay. Yeah, I think the train should be getting here in a minute. All right, guys. So, and if you have, um, assuming you have purchased your tickets earlier than maybe two weeks interval before you travel or a month before you travel it should be something cheaper than what we purchased it for all right so we shall save journey as we roll to manchester Alright, so we are on board on the train now. A lot of people traveling in groups, you know. I think um, there's a party or a club, I don't know what activity is or was on in the city of York because a lot of young ladies and young men traveling in group, drinking, you know, just like the one sitting next to us. They were busy enjoying their drinks, jesting. Why me and my boy we were doing our thing? Why we rode down to the city of Manchester, you know. So quite a lot of, um, quite a number of these young men and uh, young women, they alighted in the city of York, possibly for their party or weekend activity that they all went for. Yes, I just like the way they spend their weekend. This is why you hardly see a lot of um, Uyibus, you know, they don't just like working during the weekend, especially Saturdays and Sundays, because they like to spend it clubbing, partying, you know, visiting, house parties and all them stuff. <laughs> so it's something that is what why take that time to rest. But now we the work weekend the past, you know, because weekend, when you work on Saturdays and Sundays, you get um, higher pay than your regular than the regular amount you earn you know as you mean you earn 10 pound per hour if you work saturday or sunday you can earn about um 15 pound per hour yes unlike uh, the bank holidays when you get paid at times two of the money of your per hour pay so it's all right it's something worth doing
right, so I live in the northeast of England, and this afternoon we are traveling from northeast of England to the northwest of England. Manchester is located in the northwest of England, and um, with other counties um, such as we have Cheshire, we have Cumbria, we have the Lancashire. Yes, the city where I studied in the last 10 years, you know. So I chose to travel this very afternoon because I don't like traveling late in the evening, especially when I'm traveling with my little boy because I usually love to arrive my destination quite on time and then settle in before dark. Yes, so that I can also look around a bit before going to bed. So we've just arrived at uh, Manchester Piccadilly, which is our final uh, point of exit, though the train was actually going to Manchester Airport, but we have to arrive there. Yes, getting into the train station, it was a long walk, and I was surprised nobody checked our ticket, even while on board on the train, nobody asked for a ticket. I think weekends are usually like that. Because of uh, people going to party, club, and the events, they don't usually bother checking tickets, you know. So we traced our way down to where we could get on the train to our final destination. Yes, and this is us exiting Manchester Piccadilly. Can't <laughs> see what. Stop, stop wiping, cleaning your hands on that. You are wiping all the decks and debris. <laughs> Don't close your eyes, some too. Just keep coming. So at this point of exit, our tickets got checked. So do not rejoice and say, I'm not going to buy a ticket. They might not check it. If they did not check it on board, definitely at the point of exit, when you will be trying to leave the train station, they might ask you for it. And if, if they found out that you dodged paying tickets, honestly, you're going to pay times two. Yes, they're going to find you because you dodged making payment for that and traveled for free. So your fine will be that you pay double of the amount of that ticket. So always endeavor to pay for your ticket when traveling to anywhere around the UK. Yes. Fairfield Street. Where is the tram then? Is that a pussycat? I go far. Oh, that's London Road. So here you can go catch the trams. What's the trams? Hmm? What's the trams? 
Watch rack. Watch racks. Oh, that's it. That's it. Very structure up there.